Jack, a 32-year-old American, spends most of his free time scrolling through social media. In 2020, a year marked by the COVID-19 pandemic, he came across a bizarre theory that caught his attention while in lockdown and anxiously checking his phone. The idea that 5G technology caused the virus. Initially, he dismissed it as just another crazy internet idea. However, as the theory continued to appear on his social media feeds and led to protests that resulted in communication towers being set on fire, Jack began to question its validity. Eventually, he became convinced of the theory and started sharing the news on his social media accounts. Jack is not alone, as millions of people worldwide have fallen prey to these unfounded claims. In United States, for instance, 25% of adults believe that certain conspiracy theories contain some degree of truth. Have you ever stopped and considered what makes us believe in these theories and why some people are more susceptible to these beliefs than others? Join us on a journey through the world of conspiracy theories where the impossibles become possible and the unthinkable becomes the new reality. In today's world, we seem to be increasingly susceptible to believing the unbelievable. The reasons social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter are breeding grounds for these conspiracies, with many people using these channels as their primary source of news. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to over 2,000 rumors, false claims, and conspiracy theories. Unfortunately, the most popular theories involve the idea that someone or a group of people was behind the crisis with malicious intentions and secretive actions. And when we distrust the government, these theories can spread even faster. What's even more worrying is that the posts that try to prove or authenticate these conspiracies are the ones that get shared the least. A recent study found that false news on Twitter spreads much faster and more extensively than real news. Conspiracy theories can reach a point where they create a positive feedback loop as their popularity grows with each discussion making them appear more credible. It's like a vicious cycle. Have you ever caught yourself falling for a conspiracy theory that you would have easily ignored otherwise just because you kept coming across it repeatedly like Jack? If so, you may have fallen victim to illusory truth effects. This cognitive bias causes us to believe something is true after being exposed to it multiple times, even if we know it is false. Ironically, researchers who study disinformation online and content moderators who clean up toxic content on social media are particularly susceptible to these effects making it even more challenging to separate facts from fiction in today's digital landscape. During the pandemic, many of us were feeling scared, alone, and confused. Emotions that can make us even more susceptible to conspiracy theories. And while these theories can be harmful, they offer us something hard to resist. A sense of meaning and purpose. By creating an alternative reality, we can justify our beliefs and actions, protect our fragile egos, and feel the thrill of uncovering a mystery. After all, who doesn't love a good mystery? The pandemic, with its economic upheavals, lockdowns, and overwhelming uncertainty, made us particularly prone to such ideas. But it's not just our psychological and emotional state that makes us prone to conspiracies. Our personality traits can also play a role. Jack, for example, tended to react impulsively to negative emotions like anxiety, making him more vulnerable to conspiracy theories. When he heard about the rise of COVID cases, he participated in protests against 5G without considering the consequences. Additionally, his desire to stand out and be unique drew him towards unfounded ideas about COVID. Our brains are wired to find patterns in everything, from art to fashion. This is called illusory pattern perception. In 2020, some people have shared maps linking 5G towers to COVID-19 cases, suggesting a correlation. But it is important to remember that correlation doesn't mean causation. If you want to learn more about this, we have got a video that breaks it down. Interestingly, our inclination to detect patterns can also make us more susceptible to accepting conspiracy theories. On the other hand, individuals with higher education are less likely to fall for this theory theories thanks to their strong critical thinking skills. However, even the most educated among us can fall victim to conspiracy theories, like the idea that COVID-19 vaccines contains microchips. While certain personality traits may make some people more vulnerable to conspiracy theories, it's important to remember that anyone can fall for them 
and there are various reasons why people might believe in conspiracy theories. It's not always because we lack critical thinking skills or education. Do you have any popular conspiracy theories in mind that you would like us to investigate? Feel free to share them in the comments below. These baseless ideas can have serious consequences. They can spread misinformation, breed mistrust, and even incite violence. We witnessed a surge of violent attacks on communication towers fueled by conspiracy theories during the pandemic. These theories can lead people to engage in dangerous behavior such as rejecting medical treatment or ignoring public health guidelines, putting themselves and others at risk. It is often challenging to change the belief of someone who is invested in particular theory. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. One effective way to safeguard ourselves against conspiratorial thinking is to disconnect from certain streams of news alerts and social media feeds that can fuel our anxieties. It is also crucial to question the accuracy of the claims, taking a moment to slow down and ask ourselves questions like, is this information biased or unlikely to be true? Another thing to watch out for is where the information is coming from. If all the conspiracy-related material comes from one source, while non-conspiracy materials come from various sources, that's a red flag. It is worth noting that some groups are profiting from spreading misinformation, whether it be politically motivated or for financial gains. It's all about being a critical thinker and examining the evidence closely. By doing so, we can protect ourselves and prevent the spread of misinformation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.